After the past couple races of very, very exciting racing, I feel as though it's time now to do this video. A video topic that of course is going to be very, very hotly debated. And it is quite simple. Who is better right now? Max Verstappen or Charles Leclerc? And in today's video, I'm going to analyse and determine, in my opinion, just who is the better driver by looking at plenty of different areas and skills for both drivers. So if you want to find out from me who I think the better driver is, then make sure to check out this video. But before we start looking at key skills such as overtaking and driving, let's first look at the tail of the tape between Verstappen and Leclerc. So at the moment, Max Verstappen has six race wins with Charles Leclerc having none. He also, Verstappen, has 25 podiums to Charles Leclerc's five. Leclerc does have two pole positions to Verstappen's none, and both of them do not have yet an F1 World Championship. So let's get into the skills that they are both very good at and determine who is better in what area. So first, let's look at pure driving in terms of, you know, their own pace. So first off, when it comes to qualifying pace, Max Verstappen, despite not getting a pole position, I still think is very good when it comes to one lap pace because you have to remember, even though he hasn't had pole yet, he hasn't exactly had a car that can consistently go for pole position like, say, a Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas or Sebastian Vettel, or even Charles Leclerc at times. So I think Max Verstappen, even though he doesn't have a pole position, he is definitely very good when it comes to qualifying and most of the time he gets more pace out of the car in qualifying than there actually is. For Charles Leclerc, his qualifying pace as of late has improved but if you look at his F1 career so far, it hasn't actually, his qualifying pace, been that good and if you look at this season so far for Ferrari, his pole positions have only come at circuits where Ferrari do have the best car. He hasn't necessarily outperformed his car. At Silverstone, he did, but at other circuits, I don't believe Charles has. So for me, Max Verstappen is better when it comes to qualifying pace. When it comes to race pace, though, it's definitely a bit closer. Now, Max Verstappen, when it comes to race pace, is so, so good. He's so good at, you know, looking after his car and still pumping in great lap times. But so is Charles Leclerc. But... Because Max, I think, is a lot more consistent uh, or consistently great when it comes to his race pace, I think that has to go down for me as Max Verstappen being better. Again, they are both very, very good when it comes to their own respective race pace. But for me, because Max Verstappen is more consistent in how great his pace is on a race day, I'd have to go for Max Verstappen. And when it comes to pace in the wet, we can't really say who is better because even though, yes, Max has produced that great performance at Interlagos in 2016, Charles Leclerc hasn't really driven in a race or a qualifying session that has been properly wet that he has fully participated in. So we can't really decide who is the better driver in the wet. So for now, I'm going to say 50-50. Also, let's look at aggression with driving. Now, of course, you can be at times as a driver overly aggressive, but the best drivers are the ones that are very aggressive, but still end up 90% of the time coming out on top. Now, Max Verstappen is a very, very aggressive driver. And of course, in the past, he has had some crashes that have been caused by his, say, over eagerness or over aggressiveness. But at the moment, if you look at the last year or so, Max Verstappen has continued the aggressiveness but has really cut out the mistakes. So Max Verstappen, when it comes to aggressiveness whilst driving while still being very, very good, is very, very good. Charles Leclerc, he can be aggressive, but he doesn't quite do it enough for me. At Silverstone, he was very aggressive in terms of his overtaking and defending, but we haven't quite seen enough of that pay off for Charles Leclerc. Of course, in Bahrain, where he passed his teammate very well, that was very aggressive and very nice, but we haven't seen as good aggressive driving from Charles Leclerc as we have with Max Verstappen. So for me, I'd have to go for Max on this one. When it comes to sheer consistency, I think Max Verstappen right now is definitely the better driver because 
If you look at this season, Max has been pretty great in every Grand Prix so far. For Charles Leclerc, he has been good in some races, but there's been other races where he just hasn't been that good at all, such as Melbourne or the Spanish Grand Prix, or even Canada, say, compared to his teammate Sebastian Vettel. So I think when it comes to sheer consistency of being so great with their driving, based on 2019, you would have to go for Max Verstappen. And the last two areas for driving for me are car management and car control. Now, when it comes to car management, such as managing your car, uh, keeping it going to the end of the race, and also looking after the tyres, I think Max Verstappen is the better driver when it comes to this. Charles Leclerc also is very good at this, but after Silverstone, where Max Verstappen had a very broken car after Sebastian Vettel crashed into him, Max Verstappen had a very badly damaged rear end of his car and also had no power steering. How he was able to get to the end in P5, I do not know. And also when it comes to managing the tyres, Max Verstappen is so good at that because not only can he look after his tyres, but still keep up a good constant speed. For Charles Leclerc, he is good when it comes to car management, but I just don't think he is as good as Max Verstappen. So for me, I'd have to put Verstappen as better in that area. And when it comes to car control, I think Max Verstappen is also better in that area because Verstappen, despite being very aggressive and throwing the car about, most of the time, he's able to hold it and still maintain great pace. We haven't really seen what Charles Leclerc's car control at times is like. Of course, he did beautifully control that uh, what was it, double spin at Hockenheim last year in his Sauber, but I think we've seen, you know, more of Max Verstappen's great car control, such as Brazil in 2016. So for me, you'd have to award Verstappen over Leclerc when it comes to sheer car control and also car management. But that's it for the driving side. Now let's get on to the racing side, such as, you know, overtaking and defending your position. So who is better out of Verstappen and Charles Leclerc when it comes to overtaking? Well, even though Charles Leclerc pulled off an amazing overtake on Pierre Gasly at Silverstone, we haven't quite seen that many great overtakes from Charles Leclerc compared to Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc, again, he has had a couple really good ones, but Max Verstappen has had plenty of great moves, aggressive moves, vital moves that he has Made. Charles Leclerc, of course, had that move on Kevin Magnussen in Russia and had the move on Gasly, but I just think Verstappen, when it comes to sheer overtaking, is definitely better. And I think Max Verstappen also is better than Charles Leclerc when it comes to making an overtake when it really does matter to you know help your result. When you absolutely need to make an overtake, Max Verstappen is definitely for me better at that because. He has, you know, that aggressiveness to go and get the move done. And by the way, when it comes to examples of Max Verstappen's great overtaking, look at, you know, Toro Rosso in 2015, his move on Rosberg at Brazil and Silverstone in 2016. Those overtakes for me were absolutely fantastic. And there's plenty more that you can look at in 2018 and also 2019. Now, if I made this video before Silverstone, when it came to defending, I would have said Max Verstappen for sure is the better driver when it comes to defending his position. But after Silverstone and after how Charles Leclerc brilliantly kept Verstappen behind, I'm going to have to give this as a tie because Charles Leclerc's defence was just that good at the 2019 British Grand Prix. Now, the key area when it comes to defending in terms of being good at it is being incredibly hard to overtake even if you don't have clearly uh, the faster car out of the two and you're definitely a lot slower. Verstappen and both Charles Leclerc are very good at that. Leclerc at Silverstone against Verstappen was way, way slower but somehow stayed ahead for, what was it, 20 laps basically? How he did that, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know how he stayed ahead for that long, considering how quick Max was in what was, you have to say, clearly a faster car. Now, when it comes to Max Verstappen's defending, he has gone over the line when it comes to how many moves you can make in a braking zone or even on a straight. But 
Be honest guys, when do you see Max Verstappen get comfortably passed on track? You don't ever really see it because he's so good at defending his position. For example, going back to 2016, look at how he held off Nico Rosberg in that race for so long, even though Rosberg was clearly in the, the faster car. And I think, honestly, the best example of how great Max Verstappen is when it comes to defending is the 2018 Italian Grand Prix, because how he, in a severely underpowered Red Bull car in 2018, held off the Mercedes-powered car of Valtteri Bottas for that long to, on the circuit, of course, hold on to third place because he got a penalty for pushing Bottas off the track, which I still think to this day is rubbish. How he held on to that position, I don't know, because in theory, he should have been comfortably passed plenty of times, but somehow he kept Bottas behind for the entire Grand Prix. How he did that, I don't know, and I think that is probably the best example of how great Max Verstappen is when it comes to defending, but as I said, because of how Charles Leclerc's defending was, you know, so good at the British Grand Prix, I think at the moment, because of how, again, how great Leclerc's defending was, you'd have to give it as a tie. But now let's go into the mental stuff, the mentality of the drivers. And there are definitely some key areas when it comes to mentality that you do have to be very good at, such as pushing within your own mental limits. Now, when it comes to this, we haven't really seen Charles Leclerc say in a Grand Prix push very, very hard because he hasn't necessarily had to. In Bahrain at times he did have to, but we haven't seen a lot of him having to push very hard during, say, a Grand Prix when he's having to make up positions. But I think Charles Leclerc is definitely very good at that, but so is Max Verstappen. And I think based on you know, how good these two drivers are when it comes to this area. I think you'd have to say it's basically a tie when it comes to this area. Maybe you can award it to Charles Leclerc in his favour, but I think, you know, it has to be a tie because they're both just as good when it comes to pushing, but staying within their own mental limits. Also, another great thing that they're very good at, both of them, is delivering laps and overtakes when it matters most. Now, when it comes to delivering overtakes when it matters most, I think Max Verstappen is better at that because just look at Austria where when he needed on Charles Leclerc to make the overtake, he did and got the race win. And I think Charles Leclerc's defence was a bit poor, but I think Max, again, he delivered the overtake when he absolutely had to if he was going to win the 2019 Austrian Grand Prix. And I don't think yet we've seen if Charles Leclerc is, you know, as good as Max Verstappen at that. So I think Verstappen is better at that. But I think when it comes to delivering a lap when it matters most, you know what? I'm going to go with Charles Leclerc when it comes to this, because when Verstappen has had the pressure of, you know, getting a pole position because he finally does have a good enough car to do so, Verstappen at times or all the time has failed to do so, such as Mexico in 2017, Mexico in 2018, of course at Monaco in 2018, even though it wasn't in qualifying and he didn't necessarily have to deliver a lap, he did crack under pressure because he felt as though he had to prove a point to Red Bull and Daniel Ricciardo as to how quick he was going into qualifying that crash he had really did cost him a chance of pole position and a race victory. But with Charles Leclerc, when he has had a good enough chance for pole, he's gone and got it in Bahrain and Austria. I know in Baku he crashed, I get that, but if you look at you know the comparison between Verstappen and Leclerc when it comes to delivering a qualifying lap, when pole position is on the line, I think Leclerc is better when it comes to this, and I think Max Verstappen when he does again finally get a good enough chance to get a pole position, he will be desperate to prove us wrong. So for me, when it comes to delivering that lap when pole is on the line, Charles Leclerc is the better driver when it comes to that. And the last couple of things to analyse when it comes to mentality is 
Consistently driving without little error, that's a very important thing. We kind of talked about this earlier when it came to consistency or driving. And I think Max Verstappen is better when it comes to that area for the reasons we talked about earlier. And really the final thing when it comes to mentality to talk about is maintaining a great level despite having massive pressure. For example, you know, Lewis Hamilton defending from Max Verstappen for so long in Monaco, that's a great example of maintaining a great level of performance even though you're under great pressure for so long. Now, I can't really decide who's better in this area because Charles Leclerc has at times been under great pressure from drivers behind such as Verstappen at Silverstone and he did very well. But also, so has Max Verstappen. So I think I'm going to go with a tie on this one because I think, honestly, they're both just as good at maintaining a great level despite massive amounts of pressure being on them. But those are all the areas, guys, that I'm going to analyse in terms of who is better, Max Verstappen or Charles Leclerc. And, well, if you have watched up to this point, I think you'll pretty much be able to make it out for yourself that, for me, Max Verstappen is clearly the better driver. Charles Leclerc is very good and in some areas is just as good as Max Verstappen but in most areas I think Max Verstappen is the better driver and I think if Verstappen was in the same car as Charles Leclerc which would be so so exciting to see even though I don't think it'll ever happen I think Max Verstappen would beat Charles Leclerc in the same car because he is in the areas that matter most good enough to do so. But if you disagree with me guys on certain areas as to who is better, make sure to let me know in the comments section. And if you do think Charles Leclerc is better, then let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to debate you as to, you know, why you think Leclerc is better or why I think Verstappen is better. But after the past couple races with the great racing we have seen between these two, I cannot wait to see even more from Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. And hopefully these two can just continue fighting for years to come because after Silverstone, we are so, so desperate to see it. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video today. Again, make sure to comment down below what you thought of this video and also whether you agree with me or not. And who do you think is the better driver, Max Verstappen or Charles Leclerc? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and smash the like button for more content like this. And also, don't forget to come to our podcast, our live podcast episode coming out on Saturday at 3 p.m. UK time where we are going to be previewing the next race in 2019, the 2019 German Grand Prix from Hockenheim. So until then, guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.